Hey guys, we are here in beautiful Booth Bay at our uh, home for the next few days at the Booth Bay Brewery. And it's a wonderful little RV park and I will spend a little time showing you around. Exactly. <laughs> hey guys, Skyways to Highways, Tosh and Gary here. We are at the wonderful, wonderful Buffet Brewery. Just taking a walk around. We want to show you guys how amazing this place is. There are 13, nice 13 sites? How many sites? 13? 11. 11 sites. 11 sites yeah. and Harvest Host sites. The wood for the uh, fire? And as you can see, this place is just beautiful. And uh, we're going to just take a walk around and show you how amazing it is. Um, this place is a lot of fun. Their beers are delicious. And, um, you know, you definitely want to check this place out because it's pretty cool. Uh, it's also a harvest host spot. And uh, you can stay here. Uh, one or two nights, I'm not sure what it is. We don't have harvest host, but okay. so I definitely want to show you um, the area, and you can see some of the sites. These are tent sites, but you can also park a small trailer here, and uh, we'll show you a brief glimpse of the, the map. Um, three pull-in sites back there. Um, and this little area here is for Harvest Hosts. This is Harvest Hosts, which actually they've had, what, how many? They've averaged at least five five or six Harvest Hosts every night mm -hmm. since we've been here. Yeah, it seems to be pretty popular for that. But yeah, this way you can see what it looks like. This is our site right here. <laughs> they've, <laughs> got, they've got five pull-through sites. We are currently at site number three. And uh, there's some great little uh, area in between. So you've got some privacy. Uh, I think those are white pines, so that's pretty nice. So you're not too, you're not too tight, you know? You've got some room and some privacy. And we're gonna walk up to the brewery. The brewery. We're going to enjoy some beers, probably play a little cornhole. Maybe not. It's pretty busy. <laughs> yeah, it's already packed. <laughs> Did you guys enjoy the beer? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, so we're just going to walk up to the brewery and have ourselves a couple beers. And hopefully we're going to be joined by Riley. He is the uh, RV park manager. And Extraordinary, owner, I guess. and yeah, it's his family's Family. brewery, yeah. and um, yeah, we're gonna have him walk us through and tell us a little bit about the place. That's it. That's it. Let me show you the brewery. I'm gonna have some stout. Hello. They are set up and ready. chat a little bit with him and he's going to tell us all about his amazing brewery. So, Riley, um, tell me about your brewery. What do you think? So, it's really a family thing. Mm -hmm. uh, my parents bought the property in 06 and uh, it was a small roadside cottage resort. Um, and they had this vision of, my dad really, and my mom had this vision of, of, of building a, a brewery. My dad had been brewing in our basement for uh, in our garage for a couple of years 
and uh, and we just had the, the total the we just timed it right and got this place and uh, and so in 2009 we officially opened the brewery right. and uh, and then. 633. I don't know if you guys have tried that. That's our flagship beer. No, That's the calling it. code for the Booth Bay Peninsula. So when you call okay. someone, it's 207 is Maine's area code. Yeah, and then 633. 633. Uh, 633. Uh, okay. And then yeah. my dad had brewed this beer and then he tested the alcohol content 6.33%. Oh, wow. Okay. So <laughs> it just, we were just like, bam, That's gotta cool. do that. That's Dad's still in, involved with the brewing, yes. or he's the main, he's the head brewer. Technically, yes. Technically, yeah. and then okay. other and then my, and then my brother, and then we have a, a full time production brewer, and right. that pretty much makes up. Well, my brother Cody and Brian, our production brewer, pretty much make up the brewery staff. Ah. Okay. Um, but yeah, cool. your dad still people. your dad still has final say. Dad, dad approves and denies recipes. Uh, and, okay. Uh, okay. And, as he should. Uh, as he should. And and costs of things. So. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Gotcha. Okay, this is a so, wonderful spot. So yeah. you run the RV uh, side of it. Yeah. So in uh, in 2013, the brewery became the first Harvest host. The first brewery on Harvest Host oh, really? ever. Yeah. yeah. I didn't realize that. I had heard of the program, and then my parents actually ran into the Greens, the founders of Harvest Host, oh, wow. back in the day. Are they local? And they uh, no, they they ran into them in Arizona, <laughs> oh, in Quartzsite. Cool. Really? Um, oh, yeah. In Quartzsite. So, really? So, yeah. <laughs> um, and and after talking to them, we were the first brewery on Harvest Host. Wow. And then. Uh, in 2014, the the cottages, some of our original cottages that were built in the 50s and 60s, needed more work than we were willing to put into them. So we took those out and put in our first full hookup, first five full hookup pull through sites, and those uh, what started the transition. Mm -hmm. um, okay. And, uh, so you planted all of the white pines. I, I, I'm, I think these are beautiful white pines is what I'm seeing. So you plant all of the, the flora and fauna here. Most things that are here are what's left. Okay. So my dad owned a, my parents owned a logging business when we were younger. Ah, so originally everything okay. that side of this big yellow building was forest. Gotcha. And gotcha. so we harvested all that timber and put that into the brewery. So you built the brewery mm -hmm. yourself? Absolutely. Fantastic. Every every building that's on site here, except for the big big yellow one, yeah. was built by us. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. That's amazing. So it's totally family run. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and uh, I don't know if you guys have been in the brewery yet, yeah. but the, the beans to brewery. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. that was... Uh, that was a collaboration with people uh, from all across the, the peninsula and the state uh -huh. and even in other places people donated beams yeah. uh, and donated trees so if you go in there every every beam in there has an etched uh, of where what families are, are donated it yeah. Allagash donated a beer a beam uh, uh, the Calgione family uh, Dr. Shed yeah uh, our church, oh, my high sweet. school. Oh, sweet. Um, yeah. So it was, it was a very communal event, and that's that's what a tavern really should be. That's exactly that's, what it should be. That's what, you know. I agree. Yeah, I love it. And then the chickens, how did this come about? So we, my mom always grew up with farm animals. She's lactose intolerant. Mm. So she always had goats and pigs and all that kind of stuff growing up. Right. My, my grandfather and my grandmother were big gardeners. One more brief announcement. By the way, we found Joe. And uh, <laughs> so um, we've done the whole pigs, turkeys, ducks, uh -huh. chickens, all that. Okay. And it's, it's kind of just, uh, you know, we, we get the eggs and, uh, and when we have enough eggs, we, we sell them to our viewers. Oh, okay. Um, any, any big plans for the future? Uh, at some That's point, the brewery will be expanding. We want to expand out of the state of Maine. So we, we currently yeah. distribute statewide yeah. um, and between all of our beers, including our seasonals, uh, we do one-offs every once in a while. But I, over the course of our history, we've probably done 40 different beers. Wow. Okay. Um, 
35 to 40. Um, but our, our current rotation, I think, is in the uh, two dozen range um, that, that come back year after year. Okay. Um, because this is delicious, by the way. Thank you. It's fabulous. Um, yeah, I'm, a, I'm a darker beer fan yes, myself. Yes, this is so. a wonderful stout. I love it's it. a heavy hitter. It is. It's like 14% of it. It's good. It's good. <laughs> Have you tried Cryptos? Yes. Yes. That's yeah, that's one. a heavy hitter too. Yeah. yeah. That's that's a taste. They, that's, they brew that's, some tasty beers. That's here, my guys. favorite. Yeah, so. it's good. I'm that a, that I'm one, a the, the, I'm uh, a the labels are our beer kind of guy. fridge. Yeah. I like that. The Thirsty Botanist. Thirsty like Botanist that. is yeah. our most yeah. popular beer. Is it? Yeah. That's, that's one of our year-round staples. I can understand. Yeah. It's, it's pretty tasty. Um, yeah. So so almost half of our production is just Thirsty Botanist. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. From from the RV side of yeah. things and, and the property, mm -hmm. um, next year we'll have a full bathhouse and laundry. Oh, wow. Uh, his and hers. And, gotcha. uh and, and a full laundry system that's going to operate on a on a on an honor system. That's fantastic. So yeah, nice. so most RVers are great people. Yeah. Um, yeah. Most. Ninety ninety nine percent of our viewers right. are great people. I agree. Um, so so we trust them to to do laundry and and pay accordingly. Yeah. Um, and we're going to be we'll have seventeen sites at some point. Yeah, we curr more, we currently okay. have eleven. Um, but but we had 17 cottages, so we're grandfathered for 17 lodging units. Oh wow! Ah. So we want to get back to that number, sure. okay. uh, just from a from a legal standpoint. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. No, okay, yeah. good. Cool. That's wonderful. Excellent. Yeah, we want to stay small. Extra spot for us. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we want to stay small and and keep a, the nice family feel while also yes. you know making sure that that it can actually actually support itself. Yeah, yeah. that's what I mean, makes awesome. this place so amazing. Is that you know you come here, it really is just a, an incredible family feeling. I mean, this morning you know Riley's grandpa gifted us uh, this most amazing rutabaga and. Uh, we're, and two eggs and for two my eggs, breakfast. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it's it's just such a family feel here, guys, and, and it's so wonderful. And um, you know, if you can, yeah, you got to check this place out. It's great. So thank you so much, Riley, for hanging yeah. with us today. Thanks. And, we appreciate uh, it. For giving us uh, yeah. all the and being a great camp host. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I did see this in the room. I did see this in the room. This is too cool. Okay, so, so this is open during bad weather, and in the winter time, this is our 21 and over speakeasy. Christmas parties for for corporate events and stuff like that. Yeah. For places in town. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. I love the, it. The, these chairs are crazy cool. These chairs are amazing. So those bar stools are the same ones that are downstairs. Yeah. Yes. Uh, they're old fence posts. That's what I heard. Oh, yeah. yeah, which is really cool. Like, Oh, this is a, oh my gosh. This is a cribbage board. Uh, with, with, yeah. Oh, it's a cribbage board. With, with bullets? Bullets. <laughs> with bullets. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, so there was a bowling alley downtown Blue Bay Harbor. Uh -huh. These are the old lanes. Oh my god. Uh, and then bowling pins for lights. Wow. So above that. And look at all the Yeah. So a lot of these tools were passed down from my grandfather, great grandfather, great great grandfather, great 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 grandfather. Wow. Oh my gosh. Um, so so that's we said you know they just sit in a chest mm -hmm. out back in my dad's shop. So how do we incorporate them? Right. And and make them. I mean, no one uses a hand. Never Not a lot of people them. use a use a hand drill anymore. Mm -hmm. So how do we make it? something that we can showcase sure. and have it be a living piece of history right. that we can honor our our uh, our, our grandfathers sure. our, our family lineage.
onesie. It doesn't have to have feeties. I didn't say it's feeties, it's onesies. I need those. Like, <laughs> That's just... this is hilarious. I so need those. <laughs> Good morning, this is our last day here in Booth Bay. Actually, no, we're leaving today, <laughs> last morning. Um, we're kind of waiting for, hopefully the sun will come out for at least a half hour before we leave and help dry our awning. If not, um, we're gonna pack it up and dry it off at home, I guess. Um, so that's it, tea made breakfast. If you can see that, delicious. Croissant sandwiches. We hope you guys enjoyed this episode. We've had a, a blast showing this wonderful, wonderful area. Beautiful city of Booth Bay Harbor uh, town, I guess you could say. But um, yeah, we hope you enjoyed the video. And if you are in the area, that maybe you'll come and visit this amazing RV park. Check out our guy Riley, he's pretty awesome. But um, yeah, we're gonna pack up and head home on this chilly morning. And uh, we'll see you guys in the next video. Yep, all right, we'll see you later.